today I have scissors, some magazines, this, and some random pictures and things because I am making a, an energy board. You might have seen I made a vision video a couple of weeks ago and after watching a really cool video which I'm going to link to here by a friend of mine on Facebook called Cory Michelle Johnson I decided to make an energy board with actual physical pictures and I'm going to be tacking them onto this which you might recognize I used it for a free hugs video <laughs> so um, because I'm traveling this is actually going to be easier to carry than a proper board that you put up on the wall so I'm going to be tacking stuff onto here so I'll walk you through what I do using pictures that evoke an energy, like an energy that you really like, that excites you, that makes you happy. She calls it juicy and orgasmic. And you know, the funny thing is that when I, I did a vision board once before and I did a video, and I see now how a lot of those images, I picked them because they looked like the things that I thought I wanted. And, but actually, when I really look at them, nothing much goes on in my body, like nothing much happens in my system. They don't really get me very excited. And I'm not talking about sexually, I mean like, uh, you know, where something, you look at it and it, you, you've, it does something to you. So now I'm approaching my energy board with that in mind. And it's really interesting because I've just gone through a whole magazine, I accidentally took off the cover, and I only found four pictures that would have, that match that. Oh, uh, so this one, this one, this one, and and this is only because I've actually tried on a Rolex. You can watch the video here, and I remember how it made my body feel, how amazing it was to have that gold on my wrist. Um, but you know, before I can see how I would have gone through this magazine and cut loads of stuff out because it was pretty or because it looked like things that I thought, you know, would be glamorous and exciting and sophisticated and luxurious to have. But actually, they didn't, now when I look at them, having watched Corey's video, I look at them differently and they didn't, they were flat, you know, like nothing happened. It's a little bit like when you see a celebrity who looks beautiful but they don't look they don't look sexy, you know, like this happens for men and women. I'm sure you've noticed that when someone looks like they should be really exciting and, and sensual, but actually energetically there's nothing much going on. It's like a, an illusion. A lot of the images I would have picked out before were more like that, like they looked good, but there was, there was kind of nothing really going on underneath the surface. So I'm gonna keep going. about vision boards. I've made one vision board before. It was more like an inspiration board. And I actually had a picture like this on the board. It was of Nice and I wanted to move there. I just moved to France and guess where I ended up moving to? Nice. And I actually lived in this building. <laughs> on the top floor. You can't see I was on the other side. But that's so funny that I had this on my board and I actually ended up living in the in the area so this stuff works all right so i have something to show you now i'm going to walk you through my energy board so this is the board from a distance and i'll show you everything that's on it so here we have this woman here i liked this outfit because it looked very um like she's got cashmere and i don't this is actually fake but she just looks very like um luxurious I love this picture of the geese because I was once on a hike in Greenland. Oh, Chico's coming to see what I'm doing. <laughs> and uh, a Canadian goose followed us for two days. So that picture gave me goosebumps when I saw it. Be inspired. I think inspiration is really important. Uh, again, I like the space aspect here. Mandela, because he's one of the most inspiring people I've ever come across. Kindness. The sea. I love to be near the water. This is like the rainforest, sexual, because I'd like to explore <laughs> that topic even more in 2014. First class, five stars, seven heaven. This is actually an advert for a first class in an, for an airline. And I love the vibe of luxury and travel. And then we have this butterfly here. Not quite sure why, but I just like the energy. 
I liked this picture here of the rock band because there's the guitar. Uh, I, I was a music teacher for a while and I loved playing with the other teachers. It was amazing, so I like that. This picture here, this is an artist in Nice, Shapko, I think his name is. Um, I love, these are people all around the planet. I love this. Many small acts can change the world. I have this picture here because I love how it feels when you have your nails nicely done, when you've got nice jewellery on. Femme Nord is a French award ceremony for, for successful women. I went to this once in Nice and it was really inspiring so I'd love to be, you know, receiving an award at something like that or giving the award to other women. And what else do we have? More jewellery, like the way that that made me feel when I looked at it. This picture of here of, I think it's Los Angeles, but I love the, the water. We have an infinity pool looking out of, into this beautiful view. I have this couple here because I like the energy between them in this picture. Like he's making her laugh. They look very sort of sweet together and I really like that energy. I like being able to see out to the sea. Oh, I love massages. I'd like to have more of them. And what else? I think I've shown you everything that's on here. Oh, no, I haven't. And this picture here, I'm not quite sure. I just liked it. I like the energy of it. She's on a space rocket. It looks like she's snowboarding in space. <laughs> create a shift because I'm, I'm writing a book and I'd love for it to create some kind of shift for people around how we talk to young people about money. And this ring here, because I once had a ring a bit like this, and I felt so amazing every time I wore it. I felt like a million dollars. I actually lost the ring. <laughs> I took it off to go swimming in the sea, and uh, I couldn't find it when I came out again, so I put that on there. And this last thing here I'll show you. This is a little guy made out of rock. I have a funny story. I was hiking in the Canadian Rockies. I was completely lost with my friend. And I'd read about this in Inuit culture in the Grand Nord, like the Arctic, about how this is like a symbol for travelers. If you get lost then, and you see one of these, it's like a sign of a way to follow, to find the right way. And so the, I saw one of these in Canada and it literally saved us because we found the route, we found the way back to the hike we were doing and managed to get to our shelter for the night. So I love that picture, it reminds me of that. And this last one here, I haven't shown you this either. This is of the snow. I love mountains, and especially when they're in the, when they're snowy. And these dog sleds here. So that's my energy board. So it was really fun to do. I listened to inspiring speeches as I was making it. And now I'm gonna put this up somewhere I can see it every day and really sort of have that energy with me all the time. So I shall see you in tomorrow's episode. We're coming up to the end of the challenge now, so not many to go. Goodbye.